Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL playoffs quarterfinal match between myself and Elliot and his massive Nurgle team. It's a lot less massive now as he sacked uh, 390 TV of, of his team to stop me getting a wizard. I sacked 120 of mine. I still didn't get a wizard. However, I did get, I am going to get an, an apple here, an extra apple. Uh, Wandering Apothecary, yep, 20k of my own money. I, you know, I'm not allowed to get a wizard. Obviously, if I could, I would put in the wizard, uh, but I can't. So, yeah, I'm, I thought about sacking this Blitzer. He's not that good, but he's Blodgestep, and he's good in the other games if I win. Obviously, the Strength 5, Mighty Blow Catcher, loads of Wrestle, a couple of guards. I, I did lose a guard, which I, was a mistake in retrospect. But he's only got 12 players, so he can't really foul very much. So, that's good. That, take, that means my lying down option, if it, if it presents itself, is, is much safer. So he, because he can't really foul, and obviously any chip that I make is is more pronounced. The fact that he's got less players, so it's actually quite good that he's only got twelve. Uh, it, doing the commentary will be Fimir and Calcium. I'm going to concentrate, try hard. So yeah, great record against Elliot overall. There you go. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much, guys. You can take it away, and I shall concentrate. Okay, guys, here we are. The biggest game since the last biggest game. And I have some uh, now this serious, serious game now. You know this proper, proper uh, uh, casting. I have some information about some data stats about the players. I can tell you this is the first time that Elliot and Jimmy are playing on the quarterfinals of the CCL Cup 45. And whoever wins will go to the semifinals. So we have a hundred percent semifinal uh, player happening here. Jimmy and Elliot, very famous players. The favorite race to play with is, I don't know, one of them. There are 24, probably one of them is their favorite. I don't uh, look into that. And the race they want to win with the CCL Cup is absolutely any of them. So they can just finish this fucking thing once and for all, win it, and keep moving on with their life. So that's all the information I have to provide you. By now, I will have uh, maybe more stats at the half time. As far as I know, Jimmy has beaten Jimmy three times. There have been three those and one victory for Elliot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so can I just go on record as to say, and I hate what Elliot's done with his team. Um, I would have rather given Jim the wizard and gone in full strength. Um, I think, you know, even if Eliod manages to prevail this game, um, he's significantly weakened his team. Um, so just because I hate it, it doesn't make it wrong. I just hate it. Um, also, Famer, do you think Jim thought about sacking off an extra player to try and get that wizard? Um, or Jim, but... no. No. No, it's, so... a, it's, a, it's a race he's going to lose because Eliod could uh, fire a useless rotter. And there are no useless players anymore on uh, Jimmy's team. Look at that. Every single one of them have a skill. Yeah, yeah. I just I just really, really, you know, I'm, I, I build teams a particular way. I like to build teams to their maximum potential. I'm a high TV player. Um, you know, I, I, I don't really sack teams off. I give away a lot of inducements all the time. It's just the way I choose to play. So what Eliod's done here is really uncomfortable for me but you know it's it's a thing who's talking FD? i already say that the jimmy wouldn't fire uh, another player and that's exactly what happened he thought about that and decided yeah. not to. i guess so norman if it was another player that jim didn't know quite as well or didn't respect quite as much the shenanigans might have been a little bit more what we expect a bit underhand a bit last minute.com but because jim and Elliot our mates they get on really really well you know and you know they they yes. they associate on stream a lot together i i would imagine they wanted to keep any shenanigans on the level yeah. you know uh, there was there was no dishonesty no yeah. bullshit attached to it elio the cat the beast a pestigor and two rotten oh yeah three like nearly 400 uh, tv i hate cutting the beast in this the scenario beast, yes, the, the beast is a thought one. It's a thought one because he can be really, really good in this game. But yeah, yeah. Jimmy with a wizard will have been done, you know, extremely hard for uh, Elliot to beat. So I don't know. I don't know uh, what to say about that. 
Uh, you know, uh, sm then... small change from 400k is a massive amount to cut from your team, isn't it? It's huge. Yes. I mean, if he, he would have kept the team at full strength, Jim would get the wizard, Eldrill. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. There you oh. go. Uh... <laughs> it's br so brutal. <laughs> That's um, uh... so actually, Fame, the good news for Jim is Elliot's DP is stunned. Yeah, this is done because I was seeing the blitz to the guard line of foul in the second five. Yeah. And Elliot's DP is actually too far away. Uh, he, uh, Jim's going to protect the shit out of his strength five. So Elliot's DP is not going to get a shot at the prone strength five. So every cloud and all that, because that was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Um, that's shafted Jim for the drive, really, isn't it? <laughs> More or less, I've saved his the LOS hits. You know, at least two of the guys are stunned, so they're safe. But yeah, I think uh, we're gonna see 3D on that uh, Lino. So unlike last game, uh, where Jim was really, really aggressive against the Bash team, I, I can't see that happening this game. I think he's gonna show Elliot a lot more respect. Just a stand, but here it go. Oh, he didn't follow. Why? Why wouldn't you follow and pom there? Yes, I mean, there's no, there's it's no risk. Safe. It's yeah, safe. you're in free tackle zones. You know, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to get like vanilla powered. Yeah, I hated not following there. And then now, uh... yeah, hey Dev, I know I that, but you, you know, I have to um... tell you one thing. If that was a missed pickup, that could have been very, very problematic for uh, Elliot because <clears throat> Jimmy still keeps these blitzers and his runner there. Yeah, so you yeah. Can, Jimmy's already counting his squares to reach there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, hey Dev, I know that, but what what you should know is that Elliot's trimmed his team down to 12 players, so he's not going to be making non-critical fouls. Um, the only foul he's going to be making is with that DP. <laughs> he cannot risk fouling with non-DP players. So, as much as I want to see him foul every turn. The foul. No. Well, paper armor for everybody on this game. Oh, seven. Oh, that could have been a KO. So, Feyme, I would have probably put the sidestepper across next to the strength five to put an additional tackle zone on this strength five. There oh, yes. is a possibility that Eliod can double GFI and foul this strength five. So, yeah, I would have put the sidestepper exactly where Eliod is now going to put his rotter. Um, that might be a slight error from Jim there. He's counting with a side step. Maybe he's counting with, a, you know, that piece is going to get blitz anyway. So, I mean, I, I guess that's, that's the blitzer is the one that's going to get blitz. That one or the guard? No, it's gonna, yeah, this is a key player, isn't it? The side step. Um, yes, the DT. Pow, obviously, pause. He pounds my bludgeon. Oh, oh, there is the apple. Brutal. Brutal. There is the apple. One of them, you have two. There you go. Well, Jimmy's doing the best he can after a very interesting uh, pitching base. So, Elliot's got a bit of a conundrum now. He can set up a pretty tasty foul on this strength five, but in doing so, He's going to have to commit players to it. He can afford to do that. To do that. There are no players. Uh, there are not enough players to, uh, you know, uh, do that in a safe way. Oh, but Feyme, the opportunity to walk up to that strength five, look him in the eyes, and then bitch slap him by way of a boot to the throat. Holy cow. <laughs> yes, but... Uh, I mean, Jim is, gonna, is going to recover his whole team next turn he only lost one player that's 10 l and right now 
Elliot's going for it. He's going for it. I'm telling you. He's going for He's it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Double GFI. Okay. Like this. I don't hate. <clears throat> I think there will be better uh, options or other opportunities, but this will be fine. I mean, now it's just a three plus two plus to uh, get the uh, one dice on the ball. There comes the foul. Sent off. Nothing. Gym foul. It's a gym foul. Amazing. Okay, so that's the, first, foul. that's the first bit of luck that Jim's had this half. Jim will feel so good about that. Um, he can hit the ball eh, right now. He right can. Here. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is terrible defense by Elliot, isn't it? I, that's why I say that I didn't like the foul because the team was uh, to disperse. Yeah. And now you you can see the the the, the, the emptiness that having no beast makes in an Argal team. You know, there was a beast of imagine imagine if he could have kept the beast of Nagel with that pitching base. Been able to put the Beast of Nargal in a four elf player. Yeah, yeah. I feel that foul was risky. I I think it's it's a massive, massive target. I mean, that's that's the player that the uh, uh, but at the same time, is uh, the risk of it is you don't have enough players to cover everything. It was high risk <clears throat> for sure, but it was the highest of rewards. Oh, you know, yeah. Elliot can count himself unlucky that it didn't pay off because. I think it was, uh, yeah, it was a six plus. So it was a 72% shot. You know, so yeah, Eliod was just unlucky. That being said, I don't like where he's put his ball carrier. He could have put his ball carrier a few squares back, you know, out of danger. And this ball carrier is Agi 4 2 heads. So, you know, and potentially he's passing to an Agi 4 strength 4. So, I, this close, Jim, Jim's taking his time. He's doing the maths, wondering whether he can get his Agi through, wondering whether he can get his Strength 5 through. So yeah, uh, Dog to the Dog. Um, 3 plus 2 plus for 1D with Wrestle. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and let's not forget the one detail that the... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I was going to say that Elliot only has to tackle and one of them is the ball carry. That's all right if you snake the... At least the strength five is more or less safe. Oh, Operation Lie Down all day now. Jim, Jim absolutely um, can lie down at this point. Elliot is not fouling anymore this game. Elliot cannot go men down this game. Depends. Elliot is really rowdy. He still, you know, has one uh, reserve there. He's... Uh, uh, yeah, first touch of the game is next. That's it. Uh, yeah. And yes... The Five is more or less safe, unless Elliot enters a rage state and fouls with the other uh, rotter. So Purple Chest, um, you know, getting his Will Smith on, um, saying the strength five is going to get kicked in the face. I, I don't see it. I don't see Elliot fouling. Even though, even though the return is massive, um, you know, I just don't see Elliot doing uh, oh, it. Yeah. I think, but yeah, just going with the rotter, investing so many players. Hey, the chat, the chat disagrees with me. Um, you know, they they think that Elliot's going to go full it. Big Willy style, getting jiggy People with it. it. People forget that Elliot is a very rowdy player. That's uh, one of the things. Uh, Jim is more conservative, but Elliot is very very rowdy. He loves banging on men. This is a team that can bang them. Well, he's done enough of it this season, <laughs> Fahim, isn't he? <laughs> yes, more than 100 games with Nargel. I mean, Elliot is beyond the Thunderdome. Okay, so it looks like for once, um, regarding fouling options, I could well be wrong. Now, this is going to be a plus. Oh, I don't know, moving that. He's keeping that Claw Palmer safe. Yeah, I think we're not going to see the foul. Yeah, yeah, I was. it looks like I was right, which is a shame. Because everybody loves to see a good old foul, but... Well, it's still, it's still it can get the foul done, you know? Yeah, even a, plus, even a plus two on an armor seven is pretty good, isn't it? You know, you're uh, looking at a 70%. But, 
I have to say, how the hell you protect the ball if you go for the foul? Mm. So I'm just uh, showing my commentating chops by trying to finish my dinner, <laughs> which, which arrived just as we started uh, streaming. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my new kitten quiet, but yeah, he's been uh, rowdy. <laughs> but it's all right now, he's sleeping next to us. kitten there. Okay, so yeah, I'm um, no he's foul there. Thinking I... about the foul. He's still thinking about the foul because the rotor is still <sighs> on the ground. The rotor is still on the ground, it's thinking, it means that he's thinking about it. I think um, I, I just I just think equalising men's here right now. You're a man up, and I just think equalising men's here is just such a bad idea. I um, you know, hey, hey, look at me. I you know, I'd found my grandmother if it was a viable target. Do you know what I mean? So he has gone for the foul. Told you, told you, and another fail, and that's it. That's the main game's working here. Well, I doff my cap to the chat. The chat were right. To be fair, it was dog to the dog, Skurametso and purple chest, which are generally invariably more right than I ever am. Um, but I, I didn't like that foul. I got to be honest. You know, no harm, no foul. But I, <laughs> or, or no harm foul. But I didn't like it. Jimmy can put a lot of pressure uh, here or uh, make a very good screen. I mean, uh, as I say, the Elliot only has two tacklers and one of them is carrying the ball. That leaves the club on there as the tackler. And uh, Jimmy has more than enough uh, blotch and wrestle a dodge. Yeah, absolutely right, Famous. So Jim can reposition it. Oh my God, he can roll skulls. Yes. Jesus oh, that's right. It's really good. He managed to find a one in nine at least there. Um, but he's he's going to reposition here. He's going to protect this strength five catcher, you know. And Elliot's got a problem, hasn't he? Because he's only one man up here. Yes, he has a lot of useless rotters. Well, two of them. Three. You know, when uh, three of your team are rotters, that's, that's it. That's a... Uh... I think that's the right play, putting people more or less all over the place. So he has, uh, Elliot has to cover every space. Can I just say that Jim's dice have been absolute dog shit so far? Yes, yes. I have another stat for you guys uh, that, that uh, maybe you don't know, but Elliot is reaching quarterfinals with Nurgel. Another famous player that reached quarterfinals with Nurgel was El Duderino in his run through the CCL a few seasons ago. And uh, he became the British champion because he was the best uh, qualified uh, British player in that uh, CCL Cup. And counting that Wells is in uh, Britain and Wells is all over the world, that makes El Duderino 73 the world champion of the only CCL Cup he ever uh, played. So, um, Duderino, uh, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet on the Blood Bowl circuit and a very underrated Blood Bowl player. I love Duderino to bits. Um, met him a couple of times in real life. He's come down to Weymouth where I live and uh, we've gone out for a drink. Um, he almost got me in a fight with one of the bar staff that refused to serve him. But <laughs> So yeah, love Duderino. And I think now Jimmy has the chance to be able to chill. Wow, Elliot is uh, not needing tackle game, eh? Okay, that must be a pylon. Ah, there you go. And he took till turn four to actually pile on. Um, to be fair, right, Elliot's block dice have been great. Elliot's armor and injury armor dice have been reasonable. Elliot's injury dice have been pretty trashy. Um, which is great news for Jim. You know, the last thing you want to be seeing is a removal every claw mighty hit or a removal every pom hit. Hey, Jimmy, kill it. It's armor eight. 
Oh, okay, that will. It's a cheeky stun, isn't it? It's a cheeky stun, Feme. Well, it's armor eight. I mean, it's, that's a valid target as good as a hitting a rotter. Well, yep. Much um, better than hitting a rotter, much more dangerous, but also the reward there is not that uh, hard to get. That's the weak point of Elliot, you know, those armor eight uh, <laughs> Nagel Warrior. That's it. Casual run to the face of uh, <coughs> Nargal Warrior. Team in the front. <laughs> Kills it certainly, it certainly does give elves an extra option in their gameplay, doesn't it? When you've got a strength five mighty blow catcher. <laughs> and Duduino, well up for that in June. We'll have a chat about that in due course, mate. <clears throat> One in the full appearance, roll a one in nine, dodge away. But oh, armor eight, the KO, uh, Nargal Warrior. Claw my guard. <laughs> to use it. And good job by uh, Timmy Tagging, Mighty Blow uh, Frenzy. Well, yeah. that absolutely monstrosity of a player, strength four, agi four, friends, blotch, mighty. Elliot is playing, uh, he knows how to play chat games too, guys. I asked him uh, earlier if he was going to counteract the early GG of Jimmy. Bunny, Dimi. This is a common tactic by Elliot. You have seen uh, doing uh, that many times in his stream. Oh, yes, yes, store, yes. Elliot uh, clearly said that he was going to ban anyone that was going to say anything in the game being over. So that was a rowdy pile on. Um, Store's going to defend that player somewhat, but yeah, feels pretty rowdy. I don't think Jim. Well, Jim's got 12 players, you know, um, only one KO'd at the moment. He could foul that guy again. It's a really, really juicy target. Could be done, could be done. That's uh, one of the biggest targets on uh, Elliot's uh, team. And he could uh, to do the Nargel Warrior that is uh, above the pylon, but oh, no. I don't know. Well, Pedro Jack, your ban is even more. Uh, Well, dog, I agree. Um, I, I do think Elliot's a little bit committed to the left right now. You know, I I don't really see... He can't uh, go anywhere else. I mean, the, his players, uh, <clears throat> it's a mixture of movement five and movement four. You know, like, he could move maybe to the center, but... All he has yes. to really do, Famer, is get that AG4 two heads within range of scoring, uh, within scoring range. And then you just let, you know, elf shit do the rest, don't you? So he can uh, still, uh, how many stun firms does uh, <coughs> Elliot has? Two. Two, yeah. One time, it's an option. It's a lot of natural defense against the one turn, including foul appearance, um, isn't it? Bunch of guard. He has also a lot of guard. <clears throat> More than enough. With the uh, IG on the strength five. Easy to get to the for the first block. <clears throat> yeah, Kilsey, I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted to foul the Palmer as well. Um it's high risk, but really high reward. <laughs> really high reward. Um, I don't, yeah. I don't see Jim 
embracing the boot to, there. He's not going to pile on this turn. <clears throat> going, moving a little more to the center, I guess. Yeah, centralizing would probably be a good option here. I don't think Jimmy is going to foul. I think Jimmy is happy that the getting keeping the the rest of peace next to the bomb. Yeah, well, Jim's Jim's utilizing his wrestle really well. Flicky's just pointed out, um, you know, obviously the strength four frenzy is agi four as well, so he can dodge out on a two plus, but that carries risk. So Jim is utilizing his friends uh, his wrestle. Oh, dodge. The agi four also has dodge. Yeah, he also has dodge, you know, but. <laughs> Hey, one in 36 has happened. <laughs> we have seen a few of these uh, first half through, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I seem to remember a one in 36 essentially giving Jim the win last round. Uh, so, you certainly... Yeah, do you know what? You're, you're really unlucky if it happens to you, but you don't want to be basing your whole game on it either, do you? Yeah. Ooh. All right. So Elio does this, uh, made a decision. This is it. Gets the power up there. Very right now. Armor eight. Armor eight saves the day. I don't know about pushing him backwards towards the you know the field of play, so to speak. Um, although Jim's just going to stand him up and lock him down. Just look at that, look at that, the bomber, fuck you, two dice. Oh, he got to re-roll that. Re has to re-roll that. Oh, oh, Jim's dice Jim have been push. absolute dog shit this half. <clears throat> that could have been absolutely massive if he wouldn't yeah. be able to get rid of that. Oh, look at that, eh? Elio saw that the piece was protected, <clears throat> fuck you, two dice. No need to even any guard. Uh, Vele Hoppia, what, the um, the Mighty Blow um, Strength 4, Agi 4? I absolutely see the requirement to tag him. You don't want him, with his frenzy, being able to clear channels. So, I'm... I Yeah, it's given away a Mighty Blow hit. There's an element of risk to it, but I absolutely understand why Jim's doing it. Yes. Uh, or be available. Oh, yeah, great, Toto Frias. Um, yeah, Eliod's um, injury dice have been poor. But, risk, you know, um, I, obviously, me and Fame here being totally unbiased and calling this down the middle, I'd just like to point out that I don't give a rat's ass about Eliod's dice right now. <laughs> I, I like Eliod. He's a lovely guy. I think the world of him. Yeah, but we all know which uh, team I'm supporting right now. <clears throat> also, having the, the frenzy... Back there makes it more difficult for Elliot trying to open a space. Yeah. Because now these elves here, you know, they can just dodge away. And now Jimmy has a, you know, bloodgers all over the place. The side step is in inside. The blood step is the blood step is in a really lovely position right now. Um, it'll be yeah. interesting to see. Does Elliot drive through the middle? Does he risk to the right? where there's a good bank of elves or does he switch back to the left into that blood stepper fishing for a pal that's it he has to he has four dice if he's, uh, for a bow with a pomba yeah and this and this is where that wrestler tagging that beastman in that manner i hated where eliod pushed that elf if that elf was to the side that beastman would be a much more viable player right now but where he is He's going to expend all his movement getting away from that tackle zone. So he's probably just going to block and take himself out of the drive. But now, where is going uh, with the blitz? <laughs> <Mark Okay. some. laughs> the ball carrier, the ball carrier <clears throat> to be realistic, is agi when yeah. it comes to dodge. So, so <laughs> it's going to be... Elliot, you know, is banking, Elliot is banking on that. Um, yes. You know, Jim... Is it is a 2D uphill? Uh, no, so Eliod's got two stand firms on the front of this cage here. So it's going to be almost impossible for Eliod to bust inside this cage. 
And how do you, yeah, how do you stop an Aji four with two heads? To you need, yeah, put some pieces there to make him roll two, two pluses. Two, two pluses yeah. and let's see. I was about to say, Famer, the only advantage with that, Beastman, is he doesn't, well, for, Jim, for Jim's perspective, is he doesn't have dodge. Yeah, but I think Elio is going to have more than enough rerolls for the yeah, time eight. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But again, it's not like Jimmy could have done much more, you know, in a sense of... Uh... Yeah, so yeah, um, Elio's actually positioned that strength for quite nicely. Um, that being said, you know, I, I liked what Jim was doing with that wrestle. <clears throat> and here it comes. Four dice. Pow fishing need. gets the pow. There's the pow. Well, he has to attack it, so. Yeah. And there here comes the pylon. Absolutely cannot pile on here. Yeah, doesn't pile sure? on. <clears throat> yeah, doesn't pile on. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. No. No. <clears throat> to the uphill to open up the cage. To the uphill to get to the on the ball. Yep. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's turn seven. There is any safe moves to be made. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, don't hit it now. Oh, <laughs> Have some God. of that. Into dead. Oh, that would be glorious. <laughs> that would have been, like, been amazing. Give me another way. Oh. Boom. Oh, Jim's looking at the score. Well, Jim has been saving all his lucky uh, rolls for this moment, <laughs> for this glorious moment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I thought that uh, he had an easier dodge to break the cage from uh, one of the sets, but uh, yeah. no. Game of Vision, that wasn't mad. That was calculated. Absolutely the right thing to do there. Um, it's it was super rowdy, but then Jim hasn't got this far by playing conservatively. So yeah, absolutely the right thing to do. As it was, it worked spectacularly, didn't it? It was just glorious. Because it, there wasn't a, been a, a pow on the on that piece. That piece has guard, so Jimmy will have done only oh, one oh, dive on the ball. That's a beautiful fact, pow. <laughs> this is a turn from Jim and it, Famer. This is a turn. Oh my god. If the red die would have been just a push or something like that, I don't think Jimmy would have tried to go with the one. Oh, dodge the rescue. Oh, Jim's away. No rerolls, so it's double GFI to score. I didn't need to count the squares, just saying. <laughs> oh, the, what, professional. <clears throat> Does Jim go for one more? Yes, no, he's yes, going yes. to save it for the turn eight. And I don't blame him. <clears throat> this covering versus the club for me hit on the strength five. <clears throat> Just fucking around, reckons he should have done the GFI now. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? We want some turn eight drama, you know? <laughs> I, I... <laughs> but that was, once again, Famer, in my humble opinion, a sublime turn by Jimmy. Yeah, I mean, it's getting uh, farther down the red. If I remember correctly, <laughs> it happens one in nine times. Yep. So any other result would have been uh, Jimmy could have done the two dice. Yes, got the dice, but yes, I've played it perfectly, yes. Oh, you're not spamming Elliot, are you? <laughs>
I'm just checking out Elliot's body cam right now. His body language cam. It's dejected. Although it's a struggle to make it out with his forehead and the reflection of it. Of the string five. Armor break. Cast. Apo time. Apo time. I... Oh! Oh! Oh, it was good. It was good, baby. Jim's ass was twitching there, Fame. His Ooh. ass was twitching. Ooh. <clears throat> Remember, any uh, miss next game means that uh, we'll be only available in the final. To be fair, that casualty alone will give Elliot a little bit of hope. Um, although I can see Jim not fucking around here. Just... Ah, oh, Jim's giving it the big bollocks mug off. <laughs> oh, and he makes it. An amazing half of Blood Bowl by Jimmy. The bitch slap fantastic. Fantastic. And now Dakatai. I think Jim may have to get used to being banned permanently by Eliod after that little bit of toxic showboating. Ten. Nargel down man. That's that's a uh, fucking rough for Eliod. Yes, yeah, it would have been an amazing GFI fail, wouldn't it? It would that would have been comedy gold to be fair. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why Jim did it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Holy shit, Fame here. The strength yeah. four. Blodge is out. Came back, then came back. That's, that's <clears throat> brutal. Yeah. Uh, yes, I've been uh, some rough moments for Elio these uh, far south. I know yeah, he has round a, um, obvious Daka with a strength five ball cut. Yeah, yeah. We, we get it, Irish rounder. Um, if I was Elliot, I would have, you know, to be fair, Jim only gave two opportunities, only two decent opportunities to foul that strength five. Every other time he was relatively protected, you know, and yeah, that strength five is such a massive target on its head, you know. Still a lot, still a lot of game left, Fame. He may yet not come out intact. Yes, it uh, depends how the duck uh, works. Are we so Fame, are we Dakar in here or are we two turning? I'm two turning here. I'm punching a hole with the strength five and I am two turning the shit out of this. Go two nil up and then just harry, you know? What the For hell? Are you talking about this is a, a Dakar? If you go to the definition of best moment to do a Dakar, is this one? Well, yeah, I, I appreciate what you're saying. OK, <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. And I know this team's called Daka Daka Daka, but I'm thinking more two turn, two turn, two turn right now. <laughs> uh, Kill Caesar Daka. Um, let's have are we Daka or two turn chat? Let's let's find out what we are. Amy wants to take these people. This is, smells like Daka spirit. So Darfar a two turn. Marty boy, two turn. Seabraws, two turn. Seabraws, he knows his apples. Seriously. Foxomania, two turn. Flicky, Daka, Daka, Daka. Seabraws, Daka is shit. Yeah. Everybody rowdy. Everybody is voting for the rowdy. My God. I think two turns winning out here. Pedro is a Daka. Skuro sitting on the fence as usual, you know. Okay, we will see. That's not the setup for a two turn. Oh, per right, so... Stop the press. Purple Chest has said I would two turn. End of debate. Right. End of debate. Okay. Just. Oh, look. That's it. Look, guys. What's happening? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey. Do you know what? I quite like the Dakar. Just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. What a surprise to an event. Oh dear, that moment when you realise you've been mates with Jimmy Fantastic for 12 years and you still don't know how he plays very well. <laughs> this is uh, Sadaka. Uh... 
He has to yeah. think about the rest of the competition. I mean, also having a strength five uh, ball carrier makes the Dakar very safe. Yeah, Cornite's right. Um, no one loves a Dakar, but right now, Jim's going to get two stroke free turns of not being punched in the face, isn't he? So. Well, what the hell, Cornite is right. I mean, I've been saying that he was going to Dakar <laughs> since the beginning. <clears throat> Yeah, well, now Jim's done it, right? And everybody see, knows that I'm about as shallow as a summer pool, a, a summer puddle, right? Then I now think this is a good idea, Feymir. And I'm actually going to own this. I mean, 100%, 100% Jimmy's team could have two turns for that. 100%. Even yeah. could have taken down one of the Nargle Warriors, the Armor 8 Nargle Warriors with uh, two Elliot is lacking a lot of tools right now. Mm -hmm. He only has two tacklers and has weak pieces, but still is still is nargle. You're giving them targets, things could end very bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and Jim's fully aware of the risk here, isn't it? You know, um this is why I love the two turn, you know? Because then yeah, Elliot spends minimum three turns scoring. Then a DAC is a really good option. As you know, in my humble opinion, but this isn't a horrible you know, as I say, it was it was probably a sixty forty for me. So <clears throat> the beast of Nargel, uh, Elliot fired it to avoid uh, Jimmy getting a wizard and many other uh, inducement. Yeah, Skuro, um, Skuro is absolutely right. You know, and I hate saying that. Trust me, I really hate saying that. But you know, you go for the two turn, and Elliot has an absolute monster of a turn. It's exactly why I said a minute ago. You can to turn, but it's a lot of risk. And uh, yeah. Jimmy is not, you know, taking risk if he can avoid that. No, 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 no. Still, we are where we are. It makes for an interesting debate, doesn't it? And hey, Jim's a way superior player to me. So, you know. Um... Jimmy is uh, the advantage of the Dakar with the uh, team is the high elves of uh, Jimmy are so fast. PKS, we, um, Jim did not have a wizard. Um, Elliot trimmed nearly 400k of his team to deny Jim a wizard. So Jim just had an additional Apo, which both Apos actually worked pretty well <laughs> last half. <clears throat> there is a ball carrier blitz coming. He's preparing for it. Jim does love a ball carrier blitz, doesn't he, Feyme? Oh, yeah. I mean, with that piece, that's like, uh, I'll do everything with that piece. Yeah. That rotter center pitch is saying, punch me, daddy. Punch me. I'll give that the piece, the keys to my house, and we'll tell him, go fuck my wife. <laughs> if I had a house or a wife. <laughs> Whoa, where did that come from, Feyme? That's the kind of shit I'd say. <laughs> 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 Fame here turning his good taste filter off there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Moy. <clears throat> that elf literally does what it wants, doesn't it? Yes. This is a uh, disgust. <laughs> Fucking hell, Skiro. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, Elliot had to re-roll that. Didn't want the wrestle down, did he? Not there. <clears throat> yeah, to re-roll that, unfortunately, for him. Oh, but... Well, Elliot is getting a... If he managed to win this, he's getting a extra player. <laughs> God bless you, little elf. Oh, now we're going to see a class of the Titans. Just looking at um, Eliod's body cam right now. Um, 
He's got an ad. He's got a no look, no fucks given look about him. Yeah, Elliot is very competitive. So yeah. <clears throat> You know when Elliot's concentrating because he drops his head forwards and you can actually see the entirety of his bold head. And all you see is like a little pair of eyes. It's like one of those comedy cams, you know, when people lean into the camera too much, like a fisheye lens. Comes thinking time for uh, Jimmy. I think this is pretty solvable, isn't it? Um, punch out that goat in the middle by way of guard. It and then you can just punch through that rotter. Um, I, yeah. I, I guess a strength a strength five potato. <laughs> he can... Uh... Yeah, this is, this is the key shot here. Okay, oh. didn't work. That really, 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 really sucks for Jim. So Jim's going to be on the retreat now. No, he ain't. Oh. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's going to be on the retreat now. <clears throat> that was a real shame. I, I think I think Jim was looking to punch through there when he came in. I think that was uh, an option there because he, if he like, can't take down the tackler and open it even a minimum of space. He could have gone, you know, uh, the same way he's going, but a little higher. I get why Jim's taking a flank here, but I, I don't. That was a flank, <laughs> um, but I don't know if it's a great idea. Although the, the movement of elves, I guess it's not as critical as when Eliod was running down a flank. <clears throat> yeah, dog to the dog. There was a decent way through there, wasn't there? And you, you know, but he really needed that claw pommer down, didn't he? Yes. I'm afraid the dice were not equal. Now what I would say, I'll two dice the diving tackle, fishing for a pow, see what happens, and from there, calculate the rest of the town. <clears throat> yeah, Jim won't be, you know, Jim will be slightly miffed about that uh, wrestle dodge dying you know but it, it's not a team breaking casualty is it it's not a team breaking loss oh look exactly what i say. that's a very easy roll coming is elliot failed a block dice yet it's a good job he's failing armor and injury because i don't think he's failed a block dice yet <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, yeah, Skuro, yeah, absolutely, he may well have. Of course, yeah, Phineas, of course he took tackle. Yeah, there was nothing else he could take, <clears throat> given. Did he re-roll one, did he, PKS? Um, again, you know, obviously, me being balanced and impartial and calling this down the middle, middle. Um, I'm only taking notice of Eliod's good dice, not bad dice, and I'm only shitting on them. He didn't took a <laughs> tackle in the end uh, on the rotter. He fired the rotter. <clears throat> Super risky GFI here. Oh, gets away with that, that, that. Christ, that would have opened up the left. That seems a bit risky to me. <clears throat> that was a mandatory roll if he failed that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But still, the rewards that are uh, very juicy, especially another elf out. <laughs> My Welsh. How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> Opening spaces here. I think now the uh, the club on will have many options now. Oh, 
Oh, didn't follow. Thought he was going to follow. How does he get out of this indeed? Um, depending on where he positions his claw pommer, I, I, I think he's just going to centralize his claw pommer and then keep the Agi 4 2 heads. Um, punching a hole through this warrior on the right, but I would imagine that Elliot will drop the rotter across to, to double bank it's that flank. Firm. firm on the right, unless Elliot covers it uh, with the rotter. Yeah. If Elliot doesn't cover this front with the rotter, he goes through the claw mighty block uh, Nargel warrior. That's the problem there. No, PSK, I don't think he's planning to foul here, Eliod. Why would you want to foul when you're men up? Why would you want to run the risk of going, you know, um, evening the odds? He doesn't need to foul here. He can just, with decent positioning, you know, he can give Jim a real problem here. Let's remember that Jim is 1-0 up. All Jim has to do is maintain ball protection. And here comes the bleed. Ui, 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 ui. Okay, okay so. Is... Sorry, Feme. That more or less sorts the, the opening through the yeah, Chaos Warrior. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Jim, Jim, I, I don't know if Jim even pushes wait, wait, here. Wait, 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 wait. Can Jimmy do that? Is the. Yes. What, the rotor? No, not the rotor. Well, also the rotor, yes. It's a rotor. Uh... Above the... Yeah, Tractor. too risky. Too risky. I think Jim stands up his blodge step diving tackle. Um, you know, Elliot would have to fish for pals there. So he could do the Lord's work. And I think Jim then with the rest of the team probably pushes a bit more left and leaves those bank of free Nurgles in hopes that Elliot doesn't find a pal. Um, but either way, either way, he protects the ball deep here. Ugh. Yeah, he's he's switching to the left. Remember also another thing that Jimmy <clears throat> always has the option to give the ball to the AG5 and lob the ball <laughs> to the other yeah. side of the pitch. Yeah. He doesn't need to score. He just needs to reach turn 16. This is it. This is it. You know, we, we're sort of carrying on with regards to Jim scoring, because obviously that would secure things, but he doesn't need to score. He just needs to protect. <laughs> James. <laughs> I was so hyped today, I did think about diving into a kid's uh, martial arts lesson. You know, beating a few of the younglings up just to get the old blood flowing, which doesn't stand wrong at all. <clears throat> Jim really needed the pal there because <clears throat> that was a lot of commitment. So standing that blodge stepper up, do you think Jim's going to dodge out with that blodge stepper to try and get him into a better position? Or do you think he's just going to stand him up to absorb hits? I like I will, standing him up to absorb will, hits. Uh, it's a three plus with dodge. I'll do the first one and then uh, if he, the dodge <clears throat> doesn't pop. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah, I, I don't hate that either. Um, I think my strategy was probably the second best option. Yeah, BZL. It, the first one. Oh, pop dodge. Okay. Then uh, maybe you remain. That's a nice spot. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's that's almost as good, isn't it? Because the rotor on the right-hand flank is movement five. The chaos warrior on the right-hand flank is movement four. So that's, that's just as good, isn't it? And you're freezing out the right chaos warrior here. If he's rowdy with that blodge stepper, 
then you could essentially free, free out, freeze out three of the four Chaos Warriors here. Yeah, they will do the same as they did the last time. First the uh, kit on the side the stepper with Davin Tucker. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> see, see what happens, see what happens, and from there, see, okay, I'll do this. Elliot's in a really, really rough spot right now because he can't overcommit with regards to trying to attack the ball carrier. And yet he doesn't want to be too defensive because Jim's just going to sit back. So he's in a really tough spot right now. Elliot, the best he can uh, get right now is going to overtime. It's a rough ticket for Elliot. Jimmy right now can wrestle down the the Nargle Warrior. <clears throat> yeah, the weight tricks, but I think you know we're in turn thirteen. Jim Jim won't be thinking about overtime right now. He'll he'll be thinking about securing the win here. Yes, yes, that Jimmy can afford to do that. You know, like overtime, nah. Not right now, but Elliot. Over, yeah. Over, overtime would be really bad news for Jim, wouldn't it? There is a chain. If he goes for the tackler, what you achieve with a chain, I'm not sure, but there is a. Oh! Whoa, double Jeff right here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, brutal. Oh. Yeah, the body cam, uh, Eliod throws himself back in his seat, consigned to the fact that he's probably going to get done up the left-hand side now. Oh, Jim, no Fs given, blitzing with his ball carrier. Cheeky little armor break. This is, this is over, fame here. Oh, no, that's too far, that's too far. What are you doing? Oh, he's... he's Looking, to, but that that guy is actually four, two heads. Does Jim need to push up that far? Yes, because he can uh, protect uh, him with the rest of the players. I mean, there is a uh, yeah. He's got a cat. Well, he can drop the catcher up two squares north, can't he? So uh, yes, he has a uh, oh, yes. uh, movement. No, I eight. won't give He's, in yeah. until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Is it sad that I've been with Jimmy for five years? It feels like I could have done guard. better. Yeah. yeah, Pedro, you're probably right. Um, Elliot's going to have to do some se serious shenanigans right now, isn't he? Uh, you drop a guard in front of the catcher. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! Oh, no, you freeze out the claw pommer, don't you? That's what you do. And then you do yes. And then you have this uh, dodge uh, business you can dodge with a uh, side stepper guard. Oh, putting, di putting diving. Jim, the last action is going to put diving tackle on the Agi 4. Two heads. Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Yes. Now three plus, see what happens. Now, nah, now nah, you, you go all the way. La la la. Yeah, lovely. Do you know what? I don't think. Um, I think there's a bit of chat about Elliot being unlucky in his stream. Um, he's certainly have been unlucky with regards to the attrition. You know that that there is no question. If Elliot first half had converted even three or four of those pals into removals, then we might be looking at a different game. Oh. That was a straight one. Oh, look at that. What a time to roll snakes. Holy shit. That's it. Jim. Congratulations. Runs toward the sunset. Check which player can get the extra skill. 
Holy shit, Faymir. It looks like we're going to have to do this again. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be the semi-final. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, Can... racing-wise, yes. It's nothing, uh, there's nothing in particular spectacular. I've been that moment, that snake there. I've you just know, whispered in the wind, Faymir. Bad. And the wind is saying, this is gym season. That's what it's saying. Could be the first one to win a challenge with high elves. I don't know what Jim had to sacrifice um, to the Dark Lords to avoid the kind, the kind of attrition that he should have got over the last two games. <laughs> but whatever it was, it's bloody working. <laughs> Only one day. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yes, it's next two times in a row. It's uh, brutal. Yeah, against two utterly terrifying teams and arguably two of the best coaches to ever do their thing in CCL. Crucifer and now Elliot. Yes, Elliot qualified with every single team to the CCL, which is still incredible. I mean, like, whoa. <sighs> Holy moly. Holy wow. What a game, moly. Jimmy. What a game. Unreal, wasn't it? I don't know whether to uh, get a completion with this catcher to put him a touchdown away, or to just try, I mean, 20 so far away. I guess I'll just get the touchdown with him. <sighs> Let me. <sighs> Bit of toxic show, but in to finish the game off, Jim. We love to see it. <laughs> Thanks, J5. Oh, yeah, dear. There is a lot of. Uh... Now we have a lot of debate, you know, if Elliot did the right thing, fighting that many players or not, or whatever it is, but. <clears throat> I that's uh, no particular relevant because both points of view, you know, keeping the beast, keeping the players and fighting them have very valid. Yeah, it's pros and cons. Like, it was crazy that I was going to get a wizard and Eldril. <laughs> like, with the, where initial difference in teams. <laughs> like, that's crazy, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? I was better off just not scoring, wasn't I? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, I just didn't even think. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, I probably shouldn't have scored. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I was carried away with my in there. Yeah, I just shouldn't have scored, should I? Shit. It's a, it's a bold strategy, Jim. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> yeah, just taking claw mighty hits and a foul and a claw palm hit for no reason. Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, this might fuck me for the next match, right? I'm down to 11 already with that death. Well, yes and no. It's, they're only wrestlers, so, you know, they're it's not team-breaking, is it? I mean, they wouldn't want to get hit anyway, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe he won. Elliot's a lovely fella. <clears throat> Are you sure of that? <laughs> yeah, Elliot's a lovely fella. He's a lovely fella. I don't think he made... He's also a professional, a blue ball professional coach, you know, uh... Ah, yeah. there you go. Oh. There you go, Elliot. Be nice. Jeez, I can't have time. Don't concede, Elliot. You get booted out, don't you? No, he has he almost, he, he almost conceded there, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <clears throat> wow. So, Jim, how tight was your bum cheeks when the Apo was laid on the street. Oh my five. god, I couldn't believe it. I thought, why didn't I just stand up the stand up the bludge step guard, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> that's my whole my whole thing is the uh is the strength five, isn't it? But I didn't like I could have trapped him by standing up the bludge step guard, but I thought I really don't want to uh you know him to get hit either. But so <sighs> breaks for it. Wow. Four that, 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 nine, that whole team. So uh, we also had quite the debate. So let's start at turn seven, okay? Because I, that was the game-changing turn, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you, you had the opportunity to get rowdy. You took it. It worked absolutely perfectly. Actually, you know, minus two D power in that chaos warrior was just, 
it couldn't have not worked after that, could it? It would have been pretty brutal for it not to work after that. Yes. Um, but, I mean, he also had an edge five carrier, so he was probably going to score anyway. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you couldn't have stopped that AG5 from getting through your lines no matter what you did. So I think you did the right thing, but it was super good. If the red dice would have been only pushes, would have you tried to go with the only 1D option? No, I mean, oh yeah, he had guard, didn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. I had wrestle, or did I? I had wrestle, so I could have got the both down or a pow. So I was like a one in four for it to... Yeah, would I have gone for a 1D? Maybe, because it was it was going to be hard, wasn't it? It was going to be really hard to, like, you know, just hope he rolls ones on, like, Edge 5 is basically in, in, impossible to stop. Thank you very much glorious. for the raid, by the way, Elliot. No, I won't give in. victorious. Yeah, and unlucky, Elliot. It was a great yes, game of Blood Bowl. I, um, I think the where Elliot had Congrats, significantly well bad played. luck again, Crucifer suffered from this in the previous round, was the lack of attrition. Going up to turn seven, where it was literally one KO, wasn't it? I mean, you'd use you'd use that Apo by then, but it was one KO on top of that. Nowhere near enough attrition, you know. Um, the way Elliot shaved his team as well, he G -G. really needed to punch you in the face effectively early doors. <laughs> and yeah. it, Nuffle said no, didn't he? Um, I think the pitch invasion uh, reduced a lot of the attrition because. It, it opened the, it opened the strength five though. I was fucking terrified. I was absolutely fucking terrified. And thank you very much, Grimzilla sixty four. Loads and loads of bits. Thank you so much. Thank you very very much. Absolutely glorious fifteen hundred bits. And yeah, lovely fellow Elliot. You know, like I, I messaged him before and I said like you know all the all the fucking memes aside with the the, the you know the head games and shit. You know, all the best and that. He's he's lovely fellow any and. And if I can't win, you know, if I couldn't win that game, I would have wanted him to have won the whole thing. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, but, yeah, the, yeah, the pitch invasion was, like, kind of good. But it was also just, like, fuck, I can't protect my strength five. <laughs> you know, that was, like, shit. <laughs> so I was very scared that, 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 that the strength five was going to come and uh, was going to come. Who and are your me. possible opponent in semifinals? Um, it's either vampires or rats. Um, so this is probably the game. The vampires or rats is probably the game that I get pitch cleared after after surviving against the terrifying yeah. Cruz and Elliot teams. <laughs> You've literally come through two of the most difficult coaches in the chalice against two of the most stacked teams in this chalice, and now yeah, you watch you collapse against a bunch of shithead rats or bloody vampires. <laughs> yeah, just sk <laughs> skillless thralls, just like just starts banging everyone out. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you can see from the blocks, though, right? Elio didn't get to make that many blocks. Like, the pitch invasion, at least it stopped me taking mighty blow hits a little bit. But, I, I mean, it opened up the fouls, which obviously was horrendously unlucky with uh, getting sent off and not breaking AV. So, like, yeah. amazing fouls. Um, so ironically, really like ironically, the um, the the pitch invasion, yeah, it, it you know, it was really bad for Elio because he didn't get three LOS hits. Um, mm -hmm. Three good LOS hits on turn one. That, that that can be game changing, can't it? Straight away, you're down to nine players, yeah. you know, um, before you even begin. So, although it was good for Elliot in one hand, I, I think ultimately, you know, it was pretty bad. The gym foul must have made yeah. got you a semi on. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the thing, right? If, if the dice are the other, other way around, there he casts the guy out or KOs him. Even if he just KOs him, then then there's no defense. And, and, yes, uh, and... Elliot wasn't particularly unlucky, but he was unlucky at the key moment. Those yeah. fouls yeah. that were uh, the GFI, terrible. The GFIs, uh, yeah, that was that, brutal. Know, yeah, it's not like you know, you were unlocking some you know, last action block or last action dodge. Which, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna be more or less fine, but when it counts, nothing is gonna fuck me. Big, <laughs> yes, yeah, um, there was nothing wrong with with Elliot's um, block dice, he was finding powers for fun, you know. Um, but it was just his attrition dice were was shocking you are not going to beat a stacked elf team like this if you do not remove elves it's yeah. that simple it's a pretty simple equation yes yeah, you know? block dice were actually oh. incredible yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, 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 um, it's pow dice were just insanely good yeah. um but it's attrition dice were insanely bad <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much Pretty much how it went, and then those GFIs with the. I mean, to be fair, it's obviously like, well, is there a bit of blitz with that? I don't know, but um, yeah, the, he was the in score. A, he was in a tough spot yeah. when he, he was in a tough spot because if he overcommitted in any area, you could exploit it, and you know you didn't need to score. He needed to not only 
stop you scoring he needed to score himself to just yes. take it into overtime yeah. so the, the you know the, the odds were stacked against him at that point and uh, i so i didn't hate what he did at all um nuffle hated it because nuffle <laughs> decided to reward him with snakes yeah yeah no i, did, I didn't hear anything i thought particularly the turn before i thought he played great um you know, where he put the claw pommer behind the two okay. noble warriors and the rotter behind the other rot warrior because I was going to go for one of those three warriors was who was blitzing, right? And he, yeah. he shut all that down perfectly. Yeah. Very good. Um, and That's what then, we expect from Eliod, isn't it? We expect yeah. no less. Eliod is arguably one of the best blood bowlers out there at the moment. You know, he's he's a fucking machine. <laughs> so yeah. there's no other way to describe him. It's yeah. very clear that he uh, knows how to play in a and, and also, like, the DACA reducing attrition as well, right, was a factor in DACA. Like, it was amazing just getting to DACA, knowing that he's got to turn me over, he's got to come and chase, and he's got to try and make things happen on defense. Like, it, yes. I was always going to DACA. Can you believe we had, we had a lot, that sorry, a lot of people in the chat yeah. were thinking that you were going to two turn oh, no chance. instead of DACA? No Can chance. you believe that? <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it. Have they not seen me try a two turn? Every every time I try a two turn, I just epically fail, and it takes me like six, seven, or eight turns to just like trying desperately chasing around trying to score. It's, it's I was, horrific. I was, yeah, I was turning inside out because I was screaming two turn along with about eighty percent of your chat. And um, when you watch this back, you'll see there was a lot of spamming for two turn. And we were wrong. <laughs> we were wrong. I mean, maybe it would have worked, but also the fact that the apple was gone, right? And if if he just like if if I try a two turn, he gets to hit the catchers, you know, at least the you know the edge five or the bludger, like something, or the or the blitzers, like he's getting to hit things, and it's it's just uncomfortable, isn't it? Like, and and he's gonna, you know, it's Elliot as well. Like, it's not. Yes, but Kelsey, Kelsey, let me give you a point about why, you know, keeping the 40, 400 TV. That would have been uh, Jimmy, the Wizard, and uh, Eldrill. So that means with a strength 5 uh, piece and a hypnotic gaze piece, it's like there is no cage safe on this planet. Yeah. Oh yeah, and the super goat out as well. Yeah, he had his strength four goat was out, wasn't he? KO'd. So yes. like that, yeah, that, that alone huge. makes you duck it. That the apple gone and strength five being your entire tournament <laughs> means that yeah. you want a ducker yeah. as well. So yeah, but yeah, what did you a think? What did you think about Elliot's? What did you think about Elliot's trim, Jim? Personally, I hated it because it's it's against how I play as a blood bowl coach. That being said. Um, I may have trimmed a little bit and denied you either Edril or the Wizard, but you know he did really shaft himself a little bit with regards to fouling potential, didn't he? Yeah, but I mean, he, he, like it's fair enough, right? It's, it, he knows how he's going to play the drive, and he knows it's not going to be easy for me to crack the cage. And the the Wizard just makes it easy for me to crack, crack the cage and yeah. the edge five. I've got the edge five to benefit. So like, and plus I could be banging him with like. It's hard enough to defend against a wizard with an edge five, but when you've got a strength five as well, so I can just blitz like, you know, he can have an Urgle Warrior cage corners and I can just 2D, 2D them without any assists easily, you know, and if it's not Urgle Warriors, then I can wrestle them and stuff. So, like, I was going to, it was going to be very easy for me to whiz and take his ball away with, with the edge five if, if, if he let me have a whiz. So, I really wouldn't have wanted to give a whiz away anyway. And, like, yeah, the, the, the beast is, you know, can be good, but also it can be a bit shit, you know, like, and it makes those critical turns a lot worse, you know, like when, when you bonehead with a beast or whatever, and then like it can just open up things and stuff. Like against Kill Bill, the one turn he really knew the beast to do something was when it went stupid, you know. But like it, yeah. it could be a game winner. But I think he, I, I, I appreciate him cutting it down to stop the wizard. What I didn't like was me sacking my move five. Dodge guard. I think I shouldn't have done that because it it only made him sack a wrestle go in uh, wrestle pesta go in response, which I didn't realize he, he had. I just thought I was like making him sack, you know, two pesta two uh, rotters to 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 deny the wisdom, which I thought was a great trade. Right? If 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 he's only got eleven players, there's a real chance that like he can't foul and I can bang him out. So I didn't even yeah. see that wrestle go. So I loved sacking my guy at the time. Then I saw it. The, the, then he's like, I sacked the wrestle pester I was like, shit! I didn't know you had one. <laughs> I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have sacked my thirteenth player. Shit. So yeah. So I, I think he did the right thing and I did the wrong thing in 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 regarding the cutting. But um, well, you, you know. say that you say that, but that second apo literally saved your strength five catcher. 
Oh yeah, but I mean, I was getting the second apple anyway because yeah, it, it, ah, right. put, there was there was four, there was sixty TV difference, so I'd have to put in forty for the apple, and I was gonna. Ah, gotcha. Um, yeah. And he's like, do, "Do things change if I if I sack the rotter?" And I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and then I was like, and he's like, "Okay, I'm happy with this." And I'm like, "All right." Uh, and then I was like, but, "Like, I really want the wizard." And then I I just thought the rotters, but then anyway, right? Uh, let's uh, the, the the sacking of the guard did make my team faster and his team slower, so I didn't really hate it um but anyway right I'll, I'll wrap up the youtube video because we could just talk about this forever um so <laughs> thank you very much fire and calcium from doing the from, well, i can't my mind's gone now i'm just thinking of uh awarding pleasure. documentaries it's been a pleasure <laughs> and elliot at least has the place of free rich with nargel the same uh, stage than el duderino which we agreed <laughs> at the beginning that was the world champion for that season. there so, you go that's all right yeah, I, I will do yes. Thor. I will do Thor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.